Guys, James Carter TV, and as promised, after my exam, I'm here to give an updated 2016 NFL mock draft. Big news came down this morning as the Los Angeles Rams traded to the number one overall pick, trading with the Tennessee Titans. They gave up a whole bunch of picks, including their 2017 first rounder, two second round picks for this year, two third round picks, one from this year, one for next year. They're now at the number one spot. And man, let me tell you right now, I had problems, troubles, issues with this mock draft. I think I'm going to come out with another one on Monday, probably a three rounder. That way it's different. Because this trade just threw everything for a loop. And really, no one knows what's going on right now. And I'm very disappointed, by the way. Because before I do a mock drive, I try to research as much as possible about each team, as much as I can, to find out what's the pulse, what are people thinking, what are the analysts thinking, the insiders, the blah, 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 blah. But everyone, just no one knows what's going on right now, man. Adam Schefter. Yeah, who I believe I trust is saying that the Rams are taking Jared Goff. While I say 80% of everyone else is saying they're taking Carson Wentz. So this is going to be Adam Schefter's opinion here. I have them taking Jared Goff, the Los Angeles Rams number one overall. Maybe it's Carson Wentz. I don't know. No one knows right now. Hopefully this can become more clear. Apparently the Rams may not even know as they traded up because they said, well, we don't know, but we think both of them are going to be good, so we'll figure it out. You know, so really no one knows what's going on. No one knows what's going on with the Cleveland Browns. No one knows. Trust me, I've looked. No one knows what the Cleveland Browns are really going to do. No one. People think, oh, they're going to take the other quarterback. They're going to... I think they're going to trade down. And you're going to see me for the first time mock a trade as I have the Cleveland Browns trading down with the Philadelphia Eagles. I have the Eagles trading up to the number two overall pick. Yet another big blockbuster trade. The Eagles take Carson Wentz. I think Carson Wentz is going to go in this spot. Now, to which team? I don't know. I think it's going to be the Eagles or the 49ers because assuming that the Rams do take Jerry Goff, which is a big assumption, I think that 49ers and the Eagles are so interested in Carson Wentz and they may trade up for Carson Wentz. So look out for that. I think the Eagles will be the more aggressive of those two and they'll get it done. So that's what I have at number two. Number three, this is another one where it's either going to be Laramie Tunsil or Jalen Ramsey. Hey, we were having this discussion with the Tennessee Titans a while back. Hell, yesterday. And I have the Chargers taking Jalen Ramsey. Yet again, I have a team picking Jalen Ramsey over Laramie Tunsil. The Chargers, they just restructured the deal for King Dunlap. So it appears as if they're comfortable with King Dunlap being their left tackle headed into next season. They're comfortable with Joe Barksdale being their right tackle headed into next season. While free safety is still a position of need, Dwight Lowry is not a very good free safety to have, and hell, he may be a strong safety. So I think the safety, Jalen Ramsey, as a safety, here is the pick. Cowboys. So I've been operating the, uh, under the assumption, and this has been a false assumption of mine, I think, actually, that the Cowboys would take Joey Bosa because he's he, you have to. That's what I thought. But I, I didn't take into account that, well, they may be idiots. And they may take Miles Jack. Miles Jack is not an inside linebacker. He's not. In a 4-3, he's not. But maybe the Cowboys, and this is what I'm hearing the most of, the Cowboys don't care. That they're going to throw him in there. Or they're going to say, Anthony Hitchens, bye-bye. Or they're going to say, Sean Lee, bye-bye after this season. One of these things is probably going to happen. So I've been I've been thinking that the Cowboys would just do the smart thing, but it sounds like they want to. I mean, my, I'm very high on Miles Jack. I mean, I think Miles Jack is going to be a future pro bowler, but it just doesn't make sense for them. For them, the pick that makes the absolute most sense in the world will be Joey Bosa, but I don't think they're going to make sense. I, I don't think the Cowboys, uh, they're going to do the thing that makes sense come draft day, but we'll see. So I switched it up on you guys today. The Jaguars are pissed because now Miles Jack is off the board. They have to take Joey Bosa, who now goes number five. I would love to. I mean, if I'm the Jaguars, I'm taking Laramie Tonsil. I mean, I have no faith in Luka Joko being the left tackle. And I really don't have faith in Jeremy Parnell being the right tackle. I mean, he wasn't good last year. But he brought a still surrender too many sacks last year. So I'm taking Laramie Tonsil. But I haven't heard too much about that. So I think the Jaguars would take Joey Bolson in the circumstance. But I still need to continue to do some more research, and I'll be really definitive on this stuff come Monday. Because, man, this trade just threw everything for a loop. The Ravens are happy because Laramie Tunsil falls to them. They take Laramie Tunsil. So either be their 
he could be their right tackle, honestly. I mean, they've committed to Eugene Monroe at this point. Laramie Tunzel could be the right tackle for the uh, Baltimore Ravens, but I don't see any way Ozzie Newsome passes him up at this point. I mean, you have to take Laramie Tunzel at this point. Number seven, San Francisco 49ers. They took a defensive end out of Oregon last year with their first round pick, and I think they take another. Um, they're taking DeForest Buckner out of Oregon here. I mean, honestly, it's tough. They, Paxton Lynch could be a possibility here. Maybe the 49ers are going to trade up, as I alluded to earlier. But when you talk about this draft, you're talking about like seven prospects that are above everyone else, and DeForest Buckner is one of them. So assuming that one of these players can fall to the 49ers, I think they'll just take him and be happy. And being from Oregon, I think, although I'm not sure Chip Kelly even coached this guy. Being from Oregon, I'm sure Chip Kelly will be fond of this guy. I'll bet again, I mean, although again, I'm not sure he even coached. DeForest Buckner. I mean, he may have just gotten him freshman year or something like that. All right, so Cleveland now at number eight. They take Ronnie Stanley. They lost Mitchell Schwartz in free agency. Joe Thomas isn't getting any older. This player falls to them. They take him here. So from there, things are the same for the most part. Now, the Tennessee Titans taking Jack Conklin out of Michigan State. Now, this is the key thing that's happening here. If you don't know already, I'm a Tennessee Titans fan, and I was on the Jalen Ramsey bus, train, whatever you want to call it. I was saying not only did I want them to take Jalen Ramsey, but that they were going to take Jalen Ramsey. But I'm going to take an opposite approach here. Not because I think my approach was wrong last time, but because this time I think this just was going to happen. I think even though I really, really believe the Tennessee Titans should take Laquan Treadwell, I don't think they're going to. I think they're going to take Jack Conklin to be their next new right tackle. I knew this. I knew this. I had this. The Tennessee Titans believed that Taylor Lewan was a good left tackle, good enough for them. And he's a pretty good left tackle at that. I was right because now they moved down and they're considering Jack Conklin not at left tackle but at right tackle. Okay, let's have a conversation. So now that we're talking about drafting a guy with the 15th pick instead of the first pick and having him play right tackle, now we can have a conversation. This is something viable. This is something that I think will attract this team. This is something I think they will do. Although if it were me, Laquan Treble would be a Tennessee Titan I would already have the card signed, sealed, and delivered because I think he's going to fall to 15. I think there's no way in hell he does unless the, unless if the Giants are just crazy, which might be a possibility. All right, so from there, everything is in the description box down below. Go down there and look at it. One more weird pick, you might say. I have the New York Jets taking Paxton Lynch. I mean, they're still in a holding pattern. No one's talking about this. Right now, they don't have a quarterback. I mean, well, they have Geno Smith. But Ryan Fitzpatrick is a free agent as of this moment. They're in a holding pattern. They haven't agreed to a contract. I think this will be the domino effect. After this trade, assuming that Paxton Lynch can fall down here, the Jets will take Paxton Lynch. This will force the Broncos to sign Ryan Fitzpatrick. The Broncos go into 2016 with Ryan Fitzpatrick as their starting quarterback, and they'll probably draft like a Connor Cook or a Christian Hackenberg or a Dak Prescott. I think that's the move. I think that's the domino effect, and we'll see how things shake out in the near future. Until next time, James Carter TV, I'm out. Peace.